What advice would you give to somebody who's going through a breakup? My advice for people that when they're going through breakups is literally leave the relationship as if the whole relationship was your own fault. It's entirely your fault. And the reason I encourage unwavering accountability is that's the only way you'll make changes. One of the trends that we've seen in the last couple of years is everybody's ex-husband or ex-wife is a narcissist. Everybody's a narcissist. And the reason why I'm so against that is it kind of devours personal responsibility. You are no longer responsible for your poor choices. That person's simply a narcissist. That person's a psychopath. It's got nothing to do with your selection. When really, the only reason we find ourselves in bad relationships is because we select poorly. Outside of your relationships with your parents and your children, everybody else is selected. So if you're selecting a narcissist, you have an addiction to being a victim. You like the abuse, you're choosing it. Now, I'm not saying it as an insult, I'm saying there is a part of you that is selecting this level of abuse. Now, if you leave every relationship as if it's just their fault, you did nothing wrong, oh, I was just a victim of narcissism, you're not gonna learn the traits that caused you to attach to this toxic person. You're going to repeat the pattern. And this is one of the reasons why women that um, get divorced from an abusive partner, for example, they don't allow him to have access to the children. The children are more at danger and they're more likely to get sexually abused and they're more likely to be physically abused. And women will say, I, I blocked access because I was trying to protect my children. But we know those children are more at risk. And the reason being is because that woman didn't reflect on her choices. She didn't reflect on her decision making. She just simply chose an abusive partner. Oh my God, he's so bad. You're never seeing the kids again. Never doing this. I'm protecting the kids. The children are now exposed to a different form of abuse. So if we don't reflect, we repeat. And when I mean, what I mean by accountability is not like, oh my God, it's all my fault. Let me try and fix it with that person. It's all my fault because I ignored every red flag. One thing I always say is men and women do not lie. They show you the truth. Verbally, they might lie. Your behaviors, your mannerisms, your aura, your energy, your um, uh, habits, they don't lie at all. So every time I have a man or a woman that come to me and they say I was, you know, with a narcissist and they were this and they were that, blah, blah, blah. And I said, what happened on the first date? What happened in the first week? And they'll say, no, they were great. They were fantastic. And I said, no, oh, no, think carefully. What actually happened? Well, the first time I met him, he was in a relationship. He was married at the time. I was like, there you go. They showed you they were, they were able to live two lives. Or the man will say, the first time I met her, she was in a strip club. She was a stripper. But, but. I was like, there you go. Did she lie to you or did she show you who she was? She showed you, men and women, we all do this. We all show every red flag that we're going to bring to the table. And we pick the person who is either naive enough to believe us or compatible with our red flags. Yeah, it could be either or. And we pick that person. So we don't need to lie. We show them and they accept the truth. They just don't accept it, literally. Sometimes I think and it's not just social media. It's also magazines and television that exposed us to so many people, so, yeah. many, so many attractive people. Yeah. Only we, attractive people. Only attractive yeah. people, really. And, and we just got used to looking at that, and that's what we longed for. Mm -hmm. And we got to a point where we're not going to accept anything other than that. Yeah. And that's not meant for a lot of us. If you have to pay for an attractive partner in installments of your self-respect because they keep degrading you, they keep cheating on you, it's not worth it. I understand sometimes some people are a privilege because they might just have the options. That, and a lot of women, I'm not talking about all women, but a lot of women, majority of the time, when they walk into a room and they like the look of a man, chances are he'll like you back. So we don't really know what the rejection feels like. And we don't know what it's like to long after somebody that is not interested in you. But one thing I can guarantee you, it's not going to feel good. No matter how beautiful she is, the treatment you receive is what you should focus on. As much as you, she might make you look good in public, if she treats you badly in private, it's never worth it.